If you're a true American, then you've probably only ever heard of tons, and never even knew about the existence of tons. So, now I've gone and introduced forbidden knowledge to you sheltered cheese brains. You're welcome. Also, you might want to turn on captions for this video. You'll see why in a bit. Anyways, let's start by differentiating which system of measurement each one belongs to. Tons belongs to the imperial system, and tons is the metric system. I don't know when exactly each unit of measurement was created, but the exact dates don't really matter anyways. All that matters is that tons most likely preceded tons, especially when you consider America's history of being that one quirky country that's not like other countries and completely besmirks everything. America probably saw that Britain created a unit of tons and thought to themselves, huh, we should expand our system of measurement too. But we can't exactly copy the Brits now, can we? It hasn't even been a hundred years since we declared independence from those tea-sipping bastards. No, no, no. That wouldn't be very freedom-like now, would it? So they took ton and just deleted a N and E and then called it a day. Now, to make matters worse, ton and tons are homophones of each other. Which means the Americans didn't even bother changing the pronunciation. Which just means they sounded exactly the same. Which also means that I have to go to extra mile and type the words themselves on screen for clarification. Every. Single. Time. So when someone says metric ton, that's just the epitome of Americanized brain damage. It's metric ton, not metric ton. I mean, it even states what system of measurement it belongs to. The metric system. See dear, just now you had to look at the screen to know which one I was talking about. And I was the one that had to go through that extra effort of adding a clarifier. That's right. Thank me. Anyways, they could have just named tons as tins or tunes or anything that sounds even the slightest bit different from tons. But no, they just had to make it a homophone. Anywho, regardless of my petty feelings, let's clear scenes up a bit, shall we? Tons and tons being homophones of each other wouldn't be so bad if they were the same unit of measurement and weighed the same. Yeah, turns out that's the one scene America did decide to change other than the name. They saw... Hey, since we shortened the word, why not make it lighter too? So one ton ended up equaling 2,000 pounds or 907.18 kilograms. And one ton is 2,204.62 pounds or 1,000 kilograms. So this means that one ton is equal to 0.90718 tons. And one ton is equivalent to 1.10231 tons. Do you follow me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Homophones suck. See how important clarification is? This is why you should have turned on captions. Then there's also the long ton. It's 2,240 pounds. Or 1,016.05 kilograms. Why does it exist? I don't know. Who uses it? Nobody. Except for maybe cargo ships. But other than that, it's more pointless than peeling bananas and repackaging them in plastic wrap. Anyhow, now you know the difference between the two. I doubt knowing the difference will help in a conversational scenario with them being homophones and all, but at least you'll know the difference when it's in text. And now you can also sing the I'm better than you song to everyone you meet now. Those ignorant foos won't even know if they got hit by a ton or a ton. Oh, and if you ever decide to visit the UK, make sure you use the right ton. Otherwise you'll find yourself being strapped to a ton and dropped into the Boston Harbor to sample their tea. Or just when you visit anywhere else other than America. This weird-ass country. Overall, there sure was a ton of ton tonnage this time, huh?